Let's walk and talk about Rush Limbaugh. Now, earlier this week he put out a video. I missed it on the day that it came up, but I do want to respond to it because it's pretty crazy. He's talking about Ebola. He's not so much fear-mongering as trying to cast anyone who wants to do anything internationally to stop Ebola, including President Obama, as suffering from some sort of slavery-inspired white guilt. Let's listen to him. Obama's telling us that, the CDC guy's telling us that it's hard to get. You they're telling us yeah. we've got nothing to worry about. In fact, yeah. I don't know if you were listening on Friday, but we had this author. I can't remember his name now, and I wish I could. David something or other. And he actually said in his in his own politically correct way that we bear the responsibility for these people in Africa getting this disease, and we can't turn our backs on them because of that. He said the only reason they are there is because of American slavery. Liberia came to exist because of American slavery, and since they fled this country to escape the bonds of slavery and they set up Liberia, if it hadn't been for us, they wouldn't now be suffering from this virus. And so we can't turn our backs on them. We are culpable. So there's some people who think we kind of deserve a little bit of this. Make no mistake, that is leftist political correct thinking it's always been around the danger the danger we have now is that we've elected people in positions of power and authority who think this or or, or think like this in terms of this country being responsible this country being to blame so you can tell that even for Rush Limbaugh, he is stretching there. He doesn't exactly make much of a clear point, but what point he makes seems to be that because some of the African states where we have Ebola uh, killing people right now uh, were at least in some part uh, begun as a result of people leaving America because of the effects of slavery, that for us to do anything to assist those people in those states now uh, is just because we feel guilty for the fact that historically America perpetrated horrendous wrongs such as slavery, which is patently ridiculous. Now, what's odd, I guess, for, for Rush Limbaugh there is that he chooses not to actually name the president. He doesn't actually say his name. He just says elected leaders. I guess he wants to rope other Democrats in and not just focus on the president. But I think that this is a pretty dangerous way to look at the world and to look at the situation with Ebola specifically right now. Uh, why is it that we want to do something to try to stop Ebola from spreading to new states? Does it have anything to do with slavery? I would like to make the case that it does not. What happens in other states eventually affects America. America cannot simply close its border off the way that politicians like Rick Perry and perhaps Ted Cruz want to and imagine that the problems of the world will never reach us. If for no other reason that, you know, Americans travel quite frequently, lots of Americans every year, if they go abroad and a disease has been allowed to run rampant there, it's more likely to be able to come back and do damage in America. But even if you were to say, you know, let's not even send Americans abroad, let's not, let's not even do that, it could still cause massive harm to us to allow states to be ravaged by things like disease. After all, you know, this is an international economy. Uh, American businesses make a huge amount of money selling products and services abroad in other states. If those places are being crippled by widespread disease, then how are American businesses going to be affected? How are American workers going to be affected? You know, Rush Limbaugh, if you were to talk to him, if you were to ask him, would probably say that he does think very often about American businesses. He cares about our economy. And yet he's willing to allow them to be possibly crippled by allowing these things to spread unchecked uh, around the globe. For liberals, Ebola is a human problem that needs to be fixed abroad and protected against domestically. But I don't think at this point it, you can make the case that Republicans see it the same way. Republicans like Rush Limbaugh see this as like the opportunity to score points in so many different areas. Uh, demonization of those from Africa. I mean, they, they want to jump on that whenever they can. Uh, and specifically with the border, how can you trust the opinion of a person who says the solution to this problem is to close our borders off when that is their go-to position every day of the week normally? 
I don't think that they think the borders are any less secure because of the possibility of, what, somebody from Africa getting into Mexico and then walking across the southern border? That seems ridiculous, and I think that they would agree. They just want it closed down. Anyway, that's what I think about Rush Limbaugh and his thoughts about the combination of Ebola and white guilt over slavery. Thank you, as always, for walking and talking with me. I'm gonna try to make my way back to the studio now, and I leave you with this question. What is really underlying Republicans' reactions to the Ebola problem. What is their fundamental fear and fundamental concern? Let me know what you think.